Okay, so we've previously identified that um, when we're sort of entering commands into a switch or router, um, we're in sort of working mode and that's not storing it to um, the non-volatile RAM or the MVRAM. Um, so everything's running off, off, off RAM itself. So we need to run some commands that copy it from um, the running config mode to the startup config mode. So we're going to go through some of those commands and we're also going to put a message of the day banner across a, um, a switch so if um, I just put a switch out in our sort of simulation environment um, with a laptop and connect into it via our console cable okay so let's get onto the terminal and go through the defaults Okay, so um, we've previously gone through sort of enable gets you from user mode to uh, privilege mode. Um, so if we want to see sort of things, what's going on on this switch, um, we can put show startup config. So by default, there's no startup configuration, so nothing is present. Um, we can also look at other areas of, of of things we can view. So we can view configurations. We can view flash file, we can view um, port security privileges, um, interfaces, etc. Um, so let's just have a look at um, the flash for example again. So you can see where the flash um, file is located, it's bin file, so version 12 um, we're looking at here. So that's sort of something key to to just know for the moment. So if we're going to sort of re-image this device or re um reinstall the iOS. This is the sort of location that we need to be replacing if we want to up upgrade the software, for example. Um, okay, so so there's no startup configuration yet by, because by default there's nothing there, so we're just running off the defaults at the moment. So let's just sort of start by um, start from the beginning again and put some commands on here um, and then copy that from Running, running mode to startup mode. Okay, so if we go, um, we're going to change the message of the day or put, or put a message of the day on. So again, um, configure terminal. Okay, so we're going to put a banner on there. Um, but anyone who comes onto this switch will will see this this message as the, as they log on. Okay, so banner message of the day. Um, and then open, open speech marks, go, it's not like go away, auth, authorised personnel only. Okay, so that's sort of putting the message of the day on there. So when someone comes to, like I say, someone comes to log on, they will see this message that we've, we've put in there. So it's a sort of advantage of this is sort of a legal things if you've got authorised personnel only that I suppose if anyone gets onto your, your system that shouldn't be then I suppose you've got a, a, a legal case there in, in some ways so if we just want to see what that looks like um, you can see if we can get back to the beginning we've got our message of the day here now so that's as soon as the, the switch is powered on um, everyone will see that um, that message okay so again let's go and see what's going on the on the startup now so um, if we go show startup config, okay, so again, we can see it's not present, so we need to copy what we've changed now um, across to that to that startup configuration file. So the, the command here is copy running config space startup. Config. Okay, so it's saying, do you want to um, do you want to save it to the destination file name, so the, so the default location, and you just press enter. So it's building that configuration. Okay, so that's then copied what we've changed to the startup config now. So it's saved basically the change that we've done. So they saved the, the message of the day that we've put on there. So if now we um, look at show startup config. Um, we will should notice. Um, so our message of the day is there now. So before it, it said nothing's present, but now we've got um, 
and we've got something to go off so the configuration um, at startup has changed um, another sort of thing to look at so from the beginning of the video is about the, the flash so if we show flash um, it's now, now you've got a text file here now so it's showing the configuration it's copied that configuration file as a text document so we, we can sort of see exactly what's what's um, been configured and this can be sort of pulled off um, off, the, off the system for um, you know for later use and stored um, just to sort of add that extra layer of security or sort of time saving activities going forward okay